Greetings, it's Living Fruit on YouTube. So she said that nature will be a feature. She said that I should look out for anyone who is too um, controlling, which has been a feature actually. There's only ever been one other person in my life who wasn't controlling. Um, she said that I'm actually in the process of, um, you know, being homely and making my home homely, and it is true because I've put all these put these um, paintings up in my living room, and you know I bought some plants and stuff, which I was doing at the time and am doing. I sort of also want to redecorate my bedroom and stuff. And um, what else did she say? She said that um, it will happen. <laughs> this is um, over a month ago now. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, then we'll hurry up. Anyway, that will make sense once you've watched the upcoming footage. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Enjoy. Greetings. It's the Living Fruits on YouTube. Long time no see. Um, well, I've obviously been preparing for this festival. It's called the Towsy Festival and um, I've actually just finished performing in the Cayley tent. I performed an extract from a long poem which seemed to go down really well and um, I think I might actually reward myself with a shandy. <laughs> this is Paul. Who Hi, has <laughs> camera. <laughs> wow, it's a camera, not a phone. That's weird. <laughs> who has um, employed me to do this gig at the Towsy, Towsy Festival in Oxford, and it's my first festival, and it's really cool. I really like it. It's kind of cosy, even though it's in a field. It's kind of cosy, and um, yeah, we might go get a shandy now. Shandy. So um, <laughs> I'll catch you later. <laughs> And the poem goes like this. I carry this all the way from Guyana. Damn cake. I've been protecting it like it's gold, minding people and careful. It's just a fruit cake from a grandmother. She made me fetch it. But what are I gonna do with this now? And we have to haul this trunk and fine stay tonight? I hung on to the box, tied with the red ribbon. So it wouldn't get mash up. Because where was going to set it down? Crowd up with all these people, all these trunks and suitcases. We have landed at Southampton, the Royal Docks. I heard the ship's captain over the ship's tannoy. All of us Caribbeans, we're shivering as we alight. I can smell the demerara cane sugar in the fruit cake. Maybe when I get to my Victorian terrace, we, cut, we get a cup of English Earl Grey tea, pastry knife and fine china, and we cut a piece. Merly? Merly? I could hear him calling. He walking up to me, and I'm watching he. It's why he got to call me Merly out here. We in England now, we must leave behind all them silly things, and him to call me Merle. Yes, Gavin. I hung on to the box, tied with the red ribbon, so it wouldn't touch. A small, dusty dresser, the lampshade crooked and the wallpaper pattern fade out. Because where I was going to set it down? Because this place not clean. I could hardly feel my toes with the cold, but my shoe healed them loud upon the bare wooden floor. Jesus wept. I pulled back the damp cloth pausing as curtain at the window. Red brick buildings and concrete backyards, white bed sheets peg onto diagonal washing lines, and tumble down chimneys, the puffing grey. But I keep looking. Trees that will blossom in the springtime, and a steeple so high, so pointed, and so perfect. I wonder, 
can smell them and really came to sugar in the fruit cake. I smile this time and I watch it, Gavin. He watching me back. He faced like a cockerock, asking me if I'm ever going to put down this box. I keep it on my lap when I sit down on the neatly made up bed. The only furniture piece nearly grand. Rose wood, it didn't creak. I place the fruit cake on the trunk. We in England now. We'll see when morning comes. Hello, it's Esther here. I know I haven't spoken to you much, but um, I've just been performing around this festival, Towsy Folk Festival. I've seen so many things that I didn't kind of even know existed, like in old traditional English culture, like Morris dancers and um, um, these dancers that did these um, dance with knives. And um, I've just found this. Which is about letter writing. And Ralph Allen. And as we know, letter writing, what's happened to us, turning to emails and Twitter and Facebook. So let's have a look around here. Isn't that terrific? I think you should write that down. First of all, I'm going to set you up with a postcard. Unless you fancy taking away a little bit from your normal course of action and writing a letter and sticking it in an envelope, which is the postcard kind of a thing. These postcards are rather good. You see, each one is a different stamp design. Who would you write to? Do you know? Millie. To your, to your wife? No, oh, sooner. If you didn't write to your wife and you wanted to write to a complete stranger, you've got a rather novel approach to doing that here in the mobile sort of office. You can write to a pen pal on the exchange screen. Up here on the board is Great Aunt Sophia's friend's pen. You can rifle through them and see if you find someone with a similar profile to you. Their hobbies and interests might just chime. You could write to them, do you see? Send them a one-off, just say hello, greetings yeah. from Towersy, or you could include your own details, your name and address, your hobbies and interests, and they might write back. And who knows, you might have a correspondent for life. Do you see how it works? It's quite fun, isn't it? Yes, so you could do that, write to your wife, you could write to a stranger, you could do both. You could write a postcard, they're 50 pence, or you could help yourself with this. Hi again. And, um, and then there's this. <laughs>
card reading, like tarot card reading. I'm going to ask them where my husband is. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing readings? This is my first time. You might just step up in on the right there. I'm not going to film everything though. <laughs> just the getting in. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you how it goes. I'm fresh out of seeing Maggie. Maggie at the, um, there's all food around here. Maggie, who just read my cards, and it was beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna let it soak in and have some nice salad or something. And we're still playing those lovely violins. Okay, catch you later. Coming up after this video is um, a vlog. How I keep myself happy which is how comes I'm um, in the same clothes because it's the same day and um, I know it's back to front right, it's weird because this is the um, built-in eyesight on the... anyways yeah, that explains that